Hey, Natasha. All right, getting this worked in here. Hello, hello, happy Sunday. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, thanks for joining. We're doing a 45 minute vinyasa today. Hey, hey, it's Sunday. Y'all, it's so beautiful outside. I can't wait for us to get flowing here and hopefully we'll all go out and enjoy the day. I'm gonna sit in my backyard. I'm Lauren, for anyone who doesn't know me, I teach yoga at True Fusion. Um, so today you'll just need a mat, maybe some water nearby, um, a towel if you're doing this heated, maybe outside on your deck or something. And if you have some props or like a block or something that could help with class, um, today's gonna be strengthen and lengthen. So we're gonna be doing a lot of engagement, um, a lot of stretching through hamstrings, opening through shoulders, heart openers, things like that. And in just a bit, we'll get started. Welcome, welcome. For anyone who's joining, we're doing a 45 minute vinyasa today. So roll out your mat, get some props. If you wanna have a block, let me see if, okay, yeah, everything's in view there. Okay, cool. I'm doing this from my, I guess my living room, but usually my kitchen table's right here. Um, so I moved it today so that I could fit my mat into view. Thanks for joining. Grab a mat, grab a water, maybe some, maybe a towel if you're outside doing this, heated. Hey, hey. Hi, Lakita, good to see you. All right. We're gonna get started in one minute. So if you wanna go ahead and head on over to your mat, um, starting in child's pose, you're welcome to start there. And then we'll get moving. All right, welcome. For anyone who just joined, we're doing 45 minute vinyasa. I'm Lauren, um, an instructor at True Fusion. Make sure you have your mat today for practice, maybe some water nearby and a towel. If you have a block for a prop, um, you're welcome to use that as well. Hey, Sarah. All right, y'all, if you haven't already, go ahead and make your way to your mat. We're gonna start in child's pose. Bring your knees wide to the edges of your mat. Oh, and I should have said this before too. I did post the playlist to our True Fusion um, Facebook group. So if you need to hear the music a little bit louder on your own, you can head over and find the playlist there. Otherwise, find yourself in child's pose right now. Extend your arms forward. Rest your forehead on your mat. Let your heart soften in between your thighs. Allow yourself to find your breath there. Hello, if you're joining, we're starting in child's pose. Once you've made your way into your child's pose, tune into your breath. Full breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, side out, let it go. Take another big breath in, fill all the way up, fill your lungs expand. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Take one more big breath in, fill up. Hold it at the top. Open mouth, exhale, side out. And begin to roll your forehead side to side on your mat. Massaging out your forehead. Take this time to tune in to your awareness in the four corners of your mat. Tune into this present moment. So as much as I would love to think about um, or have been thinking about when all this is over, gonna take a vacation when all this is over all my friends and I are gonna get together um, but we don't know how long we might be in our quarantine situations right so today cultivate a sense of presence by instead of focusing on when this is over focus on what is going on in your life right now maybe even just today those around you consider the ways that you can connect with 
those that you're quarantining with, maybe those that are quarantining from afar, and focus on the things that you can do right now. How can you utilize this time and space to maybe be less distracted, to get to some of the things maybe you've been putting off? And just hold off on those plans of when all this is over. Bring yourself back into the present moment to enjoy. Spread your fingers wide in your child's pose. Press through the palms of your hands. Inhale, make your way up to a tabletop. Draw your hands back underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, cow pose. Draw your belly down and gaze forward. Exhale, cat pose. Round and curl. Press the ground away. Gaze toward your navel. Inhale, cow pose. Gaze forward, maybe up a little higher. Exhale, cat pose. Round and curl. Engage your core. Empty out. Inhale, cow. Fill up. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and together. Exhale, cat, round and curl. Two more times, just like that on your own. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Breath in, fill up, send your heart forward, gaze up. Exhale, let it go round through your spine. Work your way back to a neutral spine, tabletop. We're gonna thread the needle. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle, bring your right hand over to the left side of your mat, and let your right shoulder come down, the right side of your face comes down. You can keep your palm, your left palm here, or you can extend it forward if you'd like. And then just settle in here, you can close your eyes if you'd like. Just listen to the words as I guide you. Breathe here into the twist into your upper spine. If you find any points of tightness here, can you actively bring your breath into those spots? Become aware of how your body feels in this present moment. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Return your palm, left palm below your shoulder. Press yourself up, release your right arm up, big breath in. Exhale, tabletop, return your right palm down. Inhale, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle to the right side of your mat, left shoulder, left side of your face comes down. And again, readjust your right palm here on this side if you would like. Breathe into your upper spine, your thoracic spine. Notice any constrictions here on this side. Actively bring your breath fully in, fill up. Exhale to let it go. One more full round of breath. Exhale, side out. Return your right palm below your shoulder. Inhale, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, tabletop. Puppy pose, walk your palms forward towards the top of your mat. Keep your hips stacked over your knees. And then slowly come down to your elbows and then down to your forehead. So it's like a child's pose, but your hips are up off the ground or off of your heels. Let your heart soften down towards the floor. Breathe into your shoulders, through your armpits. Getting a soft heart opener here to start our practice. Press more into the palms of your hands. See if you can lift your elbows off the mat just a little bit as you press. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Gently walk your hands back up and in, back to your tabletop. Tuck your toes under behind you. Send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal out your down dog, bend into one knee and then the other. Stretch to the backs of your legs. Then when you come to stillness in your legs, keep a soft bend into your knees to allow for more length in your spine. Spread wide through all 10 of your fingers, press through the heels of your hands. Soften your heart back towards your thighs. And see if you can soften your heels down just a little bit more. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, roll up high onto the balls of your feet. Exhale, walk your toes forward to the top of your mat, right into ragdoll pose. Keep your feet hip width distance or a little bit wider apart. Grab for opposite elbows and let your torso hang heavy. Drop your shoulders down by your ears. Maybe sway side to side here. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Full breaths deep down into your belly. Exhale, let it go. 
Awesome job, y'all. Stick with it right there. One more full breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Keep your feet as they are. Inhale, slowly begin to roll all the way up to a stand. One vertebra at a time. Slowly come up. Your head is last to rise. Roll your shoulders up by your ears and down your back. Step your feet together, hands by your sides, Tadasana. Take a full breath in, fill up. Draw your shoulders back. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, sweep your arms up. Soften your shoulders down and away from your ears. Keep your core nice and engaged here and zip up through your legs, firm up through your quads. You can't see the top of my hands here, but grab for your opposite, grab for your left wrist with your right hand, big breath in. And then exhale, side bend over to the right. So bump your hips to the left, hands go to the right. Soften your left shoulder down and away from your ear. Full breath in, lengthen and reach. Exhale, soften. Inhale, return to center. This time, left hand grabs your right wrist. Inhale, breathe up. Exhale, side bend. Bump your hips to the right, hands go to the left. Again, soften your right shoulder down. Big breath in, fill up. Exhale, soften. Inhale, return to center, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, draw your hands through heart center, lead with your heart, fold all the way down. Inhale, lift halfway, float your palms away from the floor, pause and breathe here. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and together, engage your core from up and in. Then roll your weight forward into the balls of your feet, feel your glutes turn on. Big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, float your fingertips away, squeeze your shoulders back. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands, step your feet back. Hold in your high plank. Shoulders stack right over your wrists, lower your hips down and line with your shoulders. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly lower all the way down onto your mat. Keep your palms planted right where they land. Inhale, cobra pose, bhujangasana, peel your chest up and away from the mat. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together, press down through the tops of your feet. One more inhale at the top, fill up. Exhale, slowly lower down, tap your forehead. Inhale, cobra pose, two more times. Lift up, squeeze up, press down through your feet. Exhale, slowly lower down. One more time, inhale, fill up. Lift up, peel your chest away. Exhale, tap your forehead. Tuck your toes under behind you, firm up through your core. Inhale, high plank, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step, hop, or walk to the top of your mat. Feet come to touch. Inhale, lift halfway, float your fingertips away. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, sweep your arms out to the side, all the way up, grab for your left wrist. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, Urdhva, back through center. Grab your right wrist, exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, Urdhva, through center, firm up through your core. Exhale, forward fold, draw your belly up and in, on the way down. Inhale, lift halfway, float your hands away. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands, step back, hold it here. Firm up through your core, strong high plank, press the ground away so that your shoulders split apart. Big breath in. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, lower down halfway, hover. Inhale, upward facing dog, clips the tops of your feet, gaze forward. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips up and back, full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Urdhva Sasana, root to rise, reach up high, grab for your left wrist. Exhale, side bend to the right, stretch through your side. Inhale through center, switch out your grip. Exhale to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank, chaturanga dandasana, or you can take it all the way down to your cobra. Inhale, upward facing dog. Make sure your, th your thighs are up off the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time through your sunny, just like that. Go on your own. Inhale, bend your knees, gaze forward. Exhale, step to the top of your mat. Go with your breath. This flow is on your own. One more sun A here. Take it a little faster, maybe a little slower, whatever you need on this Sunday afternoon. Flow with your breath. Allow it to bring you back into the present moment. Take your side body stretch at the top. 
maybe switch it out if you'd rather do that. And then as you flow on your way down, take your chaturanga or your cobra. We'll meet back in downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, send your right leg high up towards the ceiling. Bend into your right knee and stack your hips open. Breathe into your hip flexor. Any stretches you feel here through your hips into your lower belly. Flex your toes, maybe uh, circle out your ankle one way and then the other. And then re-straighten your right leg. Big breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Step it forward between your hands. Stay right here. Inhale, modified pyramid pose. Straighten your right leg as much as you can. So you might not be able to get it all the way straight. That's fine. Just straighten as much as you can. Send your heart forward towards your toes and then fold in towards your right leg. Now a trick, you can also take your right thumb to your right hip crease and draw your hip back a little bit more so you know that your hips are square. Then return your right hand back down. Fold towards your right leg, getting into your hamstring here. Big breath in. Exhale to fold and soften a little bit deeper. One more full breath in. Exhale, rebend your right leg into your lunge. Inhale, warrior two, spiral your back foot down, and then spin your arms open. Lunge forward into your right leg. Bring your hands to your hips to start. Square off your hips. So if your hips are kind of tilted, see if you can lunge a little bit further. You might want to widen your stance, and then bring your hips down towards even. Just press down to the knife edge of your left foot, and then just bring your arms out in opposite directions. Nice strong arms here. Zip your fingers together and then press down to the palms of your hands as you slide your shoulders down. Engage through your core here. Just zip your belly up and in. And then really squeeze through your right glute. Bring your right knee open towards your right pinky toe. Full breath in. Extended side angle. Reach forward and then down to the inside or top of your right thigh. Work to keep your chest open here. So your forearm can be to the inside of your thigh, maybe the top. Squeeze your shoulders back. And then see if you can send your hips forward a little bit more, getting more into that left hip flexor. Strong breath here. Engage through your core, really squeeze through your right side oblique. Nice job. Squeeze through your right glute. Can you sink a little lower into your lunge? Nice job, y'all. Inhale, star pose. Heels in, toes out, get big, stretch it up. Full breath in. Exhale, horse pose, sit low. Now just bring your hands to the tops of your thighs, wiggle side to side into your hips. Shifting weight from one foot and into the other. Then take a pause at center, big breath in. Exhale, shoulder dip, dip one shoulder down to the center. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, dip. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, twist and dip. Inhale, center, last one here. Twist it out. Draw your hands back to center. Sit tall in your horse. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Inhale, straighten your legs. Parallel your feet. Tee your arms out to the side. Breath in. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Hinge forward from your hips. Then bring your hands down to the floor in front of you. So you may need to have a bend into your knees here. I always encourage a micro bend into your knees. Roll your weight forward into the balls of your feet. Then let yourself hang out here as you breathe into the backs of your thighs, into your hamstrings, into your inner thighs. You might be sore from some of the other classes that you've taken this week, this weekend. Let your head hang heavy, release any tension in your neck, in your jaw. Maybe close your eyes. Allow your upper body to, to be your weight, to allow you to fold in a little bit deeper. Return your palms below your shoulders, lift yourself up, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, return to the top of your mat, back into your low lunge. Inhale, standing splits, launch up onto your right foot and bring your left toes up off the mat, straighten back behind you. Point or flex your left toes to keep your leg active. Squeeze through your left glute. Then you might want to walk your hands forward just a little bit more to give you some more space. Fold in towards your right leg. Keep your left leg lifted. Work it up. Squeeze your left glute. 
taking each breath in, lift your heart a little bit towards the top of your mat. Exhale as you fold in deeper. Nice job. Full breath in. Exhale forward, fold, step your feet together. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend into your knees, sit your hips down and back towards the back of your mat. Soften your shoulders down. Squeeze your knees and inner thighs together. And start to really engage your glutes here as you sit low. Now a little trick, interlace your hands at the base of your neck. Lift your heart up so that your heart is open, but then this means your ribs splay open. So hug your ribs back and in to engage your core. Keep your core engaged, now release your hands. Continue to sit a little bit lower. Oh yeah, hope you guys can feel that, it feels like fire. Full breath in. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, chaturanga to nasana, high to low plank or your variation. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full round of breath. Reset here. Let it go. Inhale, send your left leg high, straighten back behind you. Then bend your knees, stack your hips open. Breathe into the top of your hip, hip flexor. You're welcome to circle out your ankle here on this side, one direction, and then the other. And then raise straighten your right leg, big breath in. Exhale, low lunge, step forward between your hands. Straighten your left leg, modified pyramid pose. So straighten as much as you can. Your hands will need to stay on the floor. Maybe you have pillows or blocks as props. You can bring yourself up a little bit higher if you can. But just breathe into your left hamstring. Again, your trick, you can bring your thumb to your left hip crease, draw it back, then release. Breath in to send your heart forward. Exhale, fold and soften. One more full round of breath. Inhale. Exhale, bend into your left leg. Warrior two, spiral your back foot down. Inhale as you come up, spiral your arms open, tee your arms out to the side. Okay, you can bring your hands to your hips, even out your hips here to start. Really bend into your left leg, and then once your hips are even, tee your arms out once again, gaze over your front middle finger. Squeeze your shoulder blades back together, and then draw them down your back. Press to the palms of your hands like you're pressing onto a tabletop. Keep your core engaged, strong belly breath here. Full breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward and down to the inside or top of your left thigh. Right arm comes up. So your forearm can be on your thigh just like you did on the last side or to the inside. Stay strong through your core. Squeeze through your left oblique. Draw your shoulders back and send your hips forward. Maybe we get that nice hip stretch again across the front of your hip flexor on the right side. Stay low into your lunge, squeeze your left glute a little bit more. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. I'm gonna turn around to face you. Exhale, horse, sit low. Back into your horse, this time just pulse it down, down. Now that your inner thighs are a little bit warmer, we'll get a little bit deeper as you pulse down, just a tiny pulse. Press through the outer edges of your feet. Really squeeze your glutes, just for three, two, and one. Straighten your legs, tee your arms out, parallel your feet, turn them in, big breath in. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, second side here. Release your hands down towards the floor. Roll your weight forward into the balls of your feet. This time, if you want to take some movements, bending side to side into one leg and then the other, you're welcome to. Wherever you go, just go with your breath. Notice how the backs of your legs feel. Can you release your neck? Release any tension in your jaw. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Return your palms below your shoulders. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, turn towards the top of your mat. Inhale, standing splits, lift your left leg, right leg rather, up off your mat as you launch onto your left leg. Square your hips towards the floor so your right hip points down towards the floor. Point your flex your toes. The 
Then maybe walk your hands forward just a little bit, fold towards your left leg. Again, let your head hang heavy here. Squeeze your right glute to drive your leg up high. Full breath in. Exhale forward, fold, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift, halfway, flatten your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Squeeze your legs together, sit your glutes down and back. Soften your shoulders down. Again, we're gonna take that core engagement one more time. Interlace your hands behind your head. Press your head into your hands. Your ribs are gonna to wanna to splay open. Squeeze them in with your core. Then release your hands. Continue to sit low, down and back. Lift your thumbs up a little bit more. Breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank, chaturanga dandasana or all the way down to your cobra. Inhale, up dog, knees and thighs lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. All right, y'all, that's our flow. We're gonna flow side to side. Inhale, send your right leg high behind you. This time, exhale, low lunge, step forward between your hands. Inhale, straighten your right leg, modified pyramid. Exhale, re-bend it. Inhale, warrior two, spiral your back foot down, spiral open. Exhale, extended side angle, ring out, gaze up. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, horse sit low, just squeeze at the bottom. Inhale, straighten your legs to your arms out. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Make sure your feet are parallel, release your hands down. Inhale, lift halfway, flatten your back. Exhale, low lunge to the top of your mat. Inhale, standing splits, launch up off of your left foot. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high elbow plank. At any point that you need to, you can always hold in high plank or skip your chaturanga. Downward facing dog is normal weight. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Straighten your leg. Inhale, modify pyramid pose. Exhale, low lunge, rebend. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, horse, sit low, squeeze. Inhale, straighten your legs, parallel your feet. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, hinge forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, turn to the top of your mat. Inhale, standing splits, lift your right leg up, squeeze. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, squeeze your knees together, sit down low, engage your glutes. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana, or your variation. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Woo, working up a sweat. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, re-bend it. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open. Exhale, extended side angle, squeeze into your core. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, horse sit low, draw your knees open. Inhale, straighten your legs, parallel your feet. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, turn to the top of your mat. Inhale, standing splits, launch onto your right leg, send your left leg high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, bend into your knees, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, fill up. Exhale, chaturanga and dandasana, ride your breath all the way down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through, straighten your leg. Inhale, modify pyramid, fold towards your left leg. Exhale, re-bend. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star, reach up high, heels in. Exhale, horse, sit low. Inhale, straighten your legs, parallel your feet. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. 
Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, standing splits. Lift your right leg high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, squeeze in, sit low. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, chaturanga and asana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Full breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Bend into your knees, bring your knees down onto your mat. Back into a quick child's pose, knees go wide, maybe a little bit wider than at the beginning of class, so you can really get into your hips here. Sit your hips back, reach your arms forward, let your forehead come down. Take a few deep breaths here on your mat. Send your breath into your hips to allow for a little bit more openness. Press the palms of your hands into your mat so you can really press your hips back towards your heels. Breathe. Press into the palms of your mat, or palms of your hands. Inhale, come up to tabletop. Bring your knees in. And then downward facing dog. Tuck your toes and your hips up and back. All right, y'all, we've got one more time. Right to left, this time adding on a few things. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Round it and curl, hold it here. Breath in, squeeze your core. Exhale, step it forward between your hands. Inhale, modified pyramid. Straight your right leg. Exhale, bend it. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open. Exhale, extended side angle. Now, stay here in your side angle. Keep your chest open, shoulders back. Option to stay here or move into half moon. Gaze forward in front of your right toes. You might want to bring your top hand down to your hip. Send your right arm out in front of you and then you're going to launch forward onto your right foot. Bring your left foot up off your mat. Your hips will stay open. Then, when you feel nice and steady here, re-extend your left arm up. Squeeze the outer edge of your left glute as you lift. Nice job for those of you who are going into your half moon. Breathe into it nice and steady. Engage your core. If you fall out, you can always come right back in. We've got two more breaths here. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more. Nice and steady. Half moon, return back into your extended side angle. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, horse sit low. Inhale, straighten your legs, parallel your feet. Exhale, wide-legged forward, full, hinge forward. Inhale, lift, halfway. Exhale, turn to the top of your mat. Inhale, standing splits. You'll hold here from your standing splits. If you want to do a little bit of balancing, you can bring both hands to heart center and work here. If you want to take handstand hops and kick your left foot up so that your right foot floats up off the ground, you can take handstand hops. If you'd like a little bit of Shiva squat, curl your left knee behind your right. Lower and lift. So play around here. Take a variation that works for you today. You can always bring your right hand behind your right thigh if you just want to fold in a little bit deeper. Maybe both hands come back for balancing. One more full round of breath. And together we forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit low. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, chaturanga and dasana, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, hold and curl, squeeze it up and in, breath in. Exhale, little lunge, step forward. Inhale, modified pyramid, straighten your left leg, fold in. Exhale, re-bend. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward and down. Option here, hold it here. Work your chest open, engage your core. If you're moving on to half moon, top hand comes to your hip, gaze in front of your left toes, and then float up onto your left leg, lift your right leg up high. Squeeze the outer edge of your right glute if you're going into your half moon. Once you're in your half moon, you're welcome to play around with your gaze, taking your gaze up towards your top thumb. Find an up dog in your chest. Continue to lift your right leg up and high behind you. Nice work. 
full breath in. Exhale, slowly return down to your mat. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out. Exhale, horse sit low, squeeze. Inhale, straighten your legs, fill up. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, turn to the top of your mat, standing splits. Options here for your handstand hops. Maybe you hop, maybe you balance, hands to heart center, or hands can come behind your left thigh, pull in. Keep your right leg straight and strong behind you. Also option for your Shiva squats, we did this on the last side. Pick an option here, hold and breathe. Start to finish out in three, two, and one. Forward fold, step your feet together. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, squeeze in, sit low, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Shift forward to a high plank. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Hips are in line with your shoulders. Squeeze the tops of your thighs. Engage your core. All right, y'all, we're going knee to opposite elbow. So pull your right knee to your left elbow, step it back. Left knee to your right elbow, step it back. Continue to alternate knee to elbow. Squeeze, lift up. Keep your hips lifted. Engage your core, press the ground away. Yes, you got it. Awesome job, stick with it right here. Just for four, three, two, and one, lower down to your knees, nice work. All right, come all the way down and around to your back for a quick set of core. Bring your feet hip width distance apart behind you. Interlace your hands at the base of your neck, press your low back down, big breath in. Exhale, crunch, squeeze up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Peel your shoulder blades up off of your mat. Lift up. Nice job. Squeeze and lift. Anchor down through your low back. Yes. Squeeze up. Four. Three. Two. And one, lower down, extend your arms, lift your shoulders up, this time tap your opposite heel. So tap and tap, side to side. Squeeze your obliques, tap and tap. Lift your heart up, gaze up. Strong breath. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze, little rock side to side. Maybe take a long full body stretch. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Hug your knees back into your chest. Rock and roll the length of your spine. Cross your ankles, plant your hands. Step back, downward facing dog. We have just another quick standing series. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, step it forward between your hands. Plant your back foot down. Inhale, warrior one. So your back foot is at an angle. Reach your arms up. Sit low into your right leg, squeeze your right glute. Square your hips forward here. So again, you can bring your hands to your hips or your thumb to your right hip crease to send it back. Extend your arms up. Now, eagle arms, left arm comes underneath your right. Back palms together or palm to palm together, whatever works for you. Or maybe you grab for your shoulders. Engage your core here, squeeze your right glute, big breath in. Then exhale, start to work yourself forward. Maybe you can balance all the way into eagle. Cross your right leg, left leg, over your right. And then squeeze and sit low, just like you would into a chair. Find a point in front of you to focus on. Use your breath here. Lift your elbows up a little higher, palms away from your face. Unwind your eagle arms, bring your hands to your hips. Slowly lift your left leg off your right, Warrior three, send your left leg back behind you. Reach your arms forward in front of you. Balance here, gaze down towards the floor. Breath in, exhale, airplane arms behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Inhale, crescent lunge, step it back. Reach your arms up, full breath in. 
Exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Inhale, fill up. Extend forward. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Twist towards the right. Full breath in. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Press your palms in towards one another. Notice if your left hip is dipping down, can you bring it back up in line with your right? Straighten and strengthen through your left leg. Breath in. Exhale, release your hands down towards the floor. Drag and lunge. Heel toe your right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Lower down onto your back knee, your left knee. And just let your hips soften forward here. You can keep your hands planted below your shoulders. Maybe you work your way down to your forearms. Breathe here. Getting a little bit deeper into your hip flexors, into your inner right thigh. You might feel it if it's tight. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Come back up onto the palms of your hands. Tuck your back toes under, lift your left knee up. And then step your right foot back to meet your left downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, step it forward between your hands. Spiral your back foot down. Inhale, warrior one. Hips square forward. Back foot is at an angle, so right toes point towards the top right corner of your mat. Lunge forward into your left leg. Squeeze your left glute. Maybe square your hips off. Then re-extend your hands. Keep your core engaged nice and tight. Eagle arms, right arm comes underneath your left this time. Find an arm variation that works for you. Squeeze into your left glute, big breath in, gaze forward. Exhale, start to spring forward, lift your right leg up and then cross it over your left. Eagle legs. You can always kickstand your toes to the side or wrap your toes all the way around. Pick one point to focus on as you balance. Long and slow, steady breath. Lift your elbows off of your chest, palms away from your face. See if you can squeeze in, sit a little bit deeper. Unwind your arms, hands to your hips, bring your right leg up, and then back into warrior three. Send your right leg back, then hands go out in front of you. Square your hips towards the floor, soften your shoulders down. Breath in. Exhale, eagle arm, or no, not eagle arm, airplane arms. Bring your hands back behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Continue to gaze forward and down. Inhale, crescent lunge. Step your foot back behind you. Draw your hands to heart center. Hinge forward, breath in. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. This time, right elbow comes to the outside of your left thigh. Press your palms together. Twist your heart towards your thumbs. Maybe you can gaze up towards the ceiling. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, drag and lunge. Bring your hands to the floor. Heel toe your left foot to the side. Come down to your back knee. Soften your hips forward. Check in to be sure that your left knee is stacked over your ankle. And just not in, but not in front of your toes. Breathe here. Staying up on the palms of your hands or coming down to your forearms. Returning back to the palms of your hands if you're down on your forearms. Press yourself back up. Tuck your toes under, lift your back knee up. Then step your left foot back to meet your right downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bend into your knees. Come down to a seat on your mat. Bring your knees hip width distance apart so there will be a slight separation between your knees and then stand up onto your knees. Bring your hands to your low back. Setting up for camel pose, a big heart opener to wake you up for the rest of your day. Press your hands into your low back. Really engage your core so that your tailbone tucks down. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and together. Gaze straight in front of you. Inhale as you look up. And then exhale, start to trace your gaze back along you, along behind you. Continue to send your hips forward as you press your hands into your low back. Lift your heart. 
Squeeze your elbows together behind you. Inhale slowly to come up. Then exhale, sit back towards your heels. Bring your feet around forward in front of you. Roll all the way down onto your back. Plant your feet hip width distance apart, setting up for bridge pose. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift your hips up off of your mat. Once you're up, you can snuggle your shoulder blades underneath you. Press down through your heels. Squeeze your inner thighs. Squeeze up. Keep your core engaged here. Full breath in. Lift a little higher. Exhale, slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Knock your knees side to side. Windshield wiper your legs. And we're almost done here, yogis. We'll take a few final stretches. Extend your left leg long. Hug your right knee up and in towards your right side. Big breath in. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your right knee to the left. Cactus or tee out your arms. Gaze over to the right to finish out your twist. Breathe into your right side body, into your right lung. Full breath in to fill up. Exhale, bring it out, let it go. Draw your knees back in towards center. Send your right leg long, hug your left knee up and in. Full breath in as you squeeze it to the side. Exhale, supine twist. Guide your left leg to the right. Cactus or tee out your arms. Work your left shoulder down. Gaze to the left. Allow yourself this moment to wring out anything that you don't want to take with, with you into the rest of your day, the rest of your weekend. Can you choose the present moment? Choose joy, choose pleasure, choose the things that make you happy. Draw your knees back in towards center. And widen out your knees. Happy baby, grab for the inner or outer edges of your feet. Maybe rock yourself side to side. Or extend one leg and then the other. Work to stack your heels over your knees when you're in your happy baby. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Lift your forehead up towards your knees. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, Shavasana. Give yourself a full two minutes here to relax for the rest of your day, letting your practice soak into your body. Nice and slow. Relax your jaw. Maybe you lick your lips, let your jaw, your lips part open. Let your breath be easy. Feel your heartbeat in your body. Take these moments of stillness to seal in your practice. Seal in your awareness of the present moment. And take it with you into the rest of your day and your week.
gratitude for creating this time and space in your day. Whether you're practicing live or you made it here at another point. Bring yourself up to a seat on your mat. Cross your legs. Try your hands to heart center. Roll your shoulders down your back. Full breath in. Fill up. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Float your thumbs up to your third eye center, the space between your eyebrows, center of intuition and enlightenment. The highest and brightest in me honors and bows to the highest and brightest in each and every one of you. We bow forward as we seal our practice and say namaste. Namaste. Thank you, yogis, for joining me here for your 45-minute your vinyasa. My name is Lauren. We'll see you next time again on True Fusion's live classes. Um, if you would like to, you can join us every day at noon for a class. And we also have a GoFundMe for our instructors who are not working at this time. Uh, the link is in the bio. All right. Have a great rest of your sweet Sunday, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all. Thanks for practicing.